I always say like strong isn't a size, it's it's how you feel and it's it's how you are. We don't all have to be the same shape and size, but it's essential that we are all happy. We met on Strictly last year. The good thing about it was when the show finished, we went on tour. Every city we were going, everyone else was finding out where the local club was. We were Googling where the gym was. What I personally love about working out with Gorks is that he's very good at motivating me. We both work crazy hours, and so it's sometimes difficult for us to get a bit of time in together. It's very beneficial to our health. It makes us feel good, we have a laugh, and it's a nice bit of healthy competition as well when we're, uh, when yeah. we're exercising. <laughs> like it's fun to be able to train with your partner and, and always keep each other, helping each other and supporting each other and say, OK, let's go, and one day it's me, one day it's her who pushes the other one to go to the gym, so it's good. I'm in a much better mood if I've trained. He can tell yeah. on the days when I've exercised and the days I haven't. That makes you feel better, makes you feel active, makes you feel like healthy and energetic. It doesn't matter if you are a teenager, you are like over 60, 50, 40, it doesn't matter the age. It's good for everyone. <laughs> I won. I won. And I went through a stage of not necessarily feeling great, but because I was skinny, loads of people were saying I looked amazing. But no one stopped to actually say, are you all right? Because you look, a, you're a bit thin. It was only like my mum, who knew at the time I wasn't very happy, and she was like, right, come on, let's, let's have a chat, let's get you back on track. With us losing my dad at such a young age, we were all very aware that, because my dad was 52 and he was very healthy, he didn't smoke, drank now and again, and he still passed away of heart disease. I went through a phase of thinking, is it hereditary? Do it, you know, is something going to happen to me or my sister or my mum? You know, you start panicking. And we went into the doctor and got checkups, and he said, "Listen, all you need to do is just try and take care of yourself." So we're here at the gym in Manchester. So let's go and work out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to win today. Yeah? No, I'm <laughs> going to win today. We're gonna do 20 minutes on the bike now, and then Gorka's gonna cook a nice meal when we get home. Spanish chicken. <laughs> Ole! I love the fact that Gorka's an amazing cook, and I love eating, so it's a great combo. <laughs> I love the fact that she let me cook, no. Outside of the gym, there's just a mutual understanding. Just kind of being best mate as well, that sounds really cheesy, doesn't it? Sure. But it's true. It's fun, isn't it, really? In 10 years' time, when hopefully I've got a couple of kids running around, I don't want to be getting out of breath running up the stairs after them. I want to be able to be fit and strong for as long as possible. It's nice to have someone tell you they think you're beautiful regardless. Even on days I think to myself, well, you're lying because I feel horrendous today, but you've made me feel better. Um, and that's, that's what I love, really. The fact that I have the opportunity to share my every day with my best mate, she always makes me laugh. and makes me happy and makes me feel like I'm important to someone. I read that I'd said he was the one and I thought, oh, I hope he doesn't see it because he's going to get a big head and get chuffed. No, I hope so. I just feel like I'm like lucky to have her beside me. Aww. That's, I think, 